Imagine a world where women could have two uteruses. It might sound like a plot twist from a science fiction novel or a futuristic movie, but this phenomenon is very real and medically recognized. This condition is known as uterus didelphis, a rare congenital anomaly that affects the female reproductive system. You might think it sounds like something out of science fiction. However, for some women, this is a part of their everyday reality. Uterus de Delphis is not just a medical curiosity, it has real implications for those who have it. But it's actually a rare condition called uterus de Delphis. This condition means that a woman is born with two separate uteruses instead of one. Each uterus may function independently and in some cases they can both sustain pregnancies simultaneously. This means a woman is born with two uteruses instead of one. The condition can also involve having two cervixes and, in some rare instances, two vaginas. This duplication of reproductive organs occurs during fetal development. She may also have two cervixes and sometimes even two vaginas. This can lead to a variety of reproductive health issues, but many women with uterus didelphis lead normal healthy lives without even realizing they have this condition. Uterus didelphis is a congenital condition. This means it develops before birth while the baby is still growing in the womb. The condition arises when the two structures that normally fuse to form a single uterus fail to do so. This means it develops before birth while the baby is still growing in the womb. During normal fetal development, two small tubes called malarian ducts come together to form a single uterus. In the case of uterus didelphis, these ducts remain separate, resulting in two distinct uteruses. It happens when the two structures that normally form into one uterus don't fuse together properly. This lack of fusion can lead to a range of reproductive health issues, but it doesn't necessarily mean a woman will experience symptoms or complications. While it sounds dramatic, many women with uterus to Delphis don't even know they have it. They may go through life without any noticeable symptoms, only discovering the condition during a routine medical examination or when they face reproductive challenges they may live their lives without any symptoms. For these women, uterus de Delphis does not interfere with their daily activities or overall health. However, for others, the condition can present certain challenges. Others might experience irregular periods or difficulty getting pregnant. These symptoms can be a sign that something is amiss, prompting further medical investigation. In some cases, women with uterus de Delphis may experience painful menstruation or complications during pregnancy. In this essay, we'll delve deeper into the fascinating world of uterus didelphis. We'll explore its causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment options. Understanding this condition can help demystify it and provide valuable information for those affected. We'll explore its causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment options. From medical imaging techniques to surgical interventions, there are various ways to manage and treat uterus didelphis. Early diagnosis and appropriate medical care can make a significant difference. We'll also discuss the implications for pregnancy and provide resources for those seeking support. Whether you're looking for medical advice or emotional support, there are resources available to help women navigate life with uterus didelphis. To understand uterus didelphis, we need to take a trip back in time to fetal development. During the first trimester, a female fetus's reproductive organs are taking shape. Two structures called malarian ducts are crucial in this process. Usually, these ducts fuse together to form the uterus, cervix, and upper part of the vagina. But sometimes, something disrupts this fusion process. When this happens, each malarian duct develops into a separate uterus, resulting in uterus didelphis. The exact cause of this disruption is still unknown. However, genetics likely play a role. If a close female relative has uterus didelphis, the chances of having it increase. The extent of the duplication varies. Some women may have two completely separate uteruses and cervixes. Others might have a partial separation where the uteruses are partially fused. In rare cases, there can be two vaginas as well. Many women with uterus didelphis experience no symptoms at all. This condition where a woman has two uteruses often goes unnoticed for years. It's not uncommon for women to live their entire lives without ever realizing they have this unique anatomical feature. The lack of symptoms can be both a blessing and a curse as it means the condition doesn't interfere with daily life, but it can also lead to unexpected complications if not discovered early. They may only discover 
their condition during a routine pelvic exam or imaging test. These exams are crucial for women's health as they can reveal hidden conditions like uterus didelphis. During a pelvic exam, a doctor might notice the presence of two cervixes or an unusual shape of the uterus, prompting further investigation. Imaging tests such as ultrasounds or MRIs provide a clearer picture of the internal structures confirming the diagnosis. However, some women do have symptoms which can include irregular periods. These irregularities can manifest in various ways such as unpredictable cycle lengths, missed periods or spotting between periods. Women might find it challenging to track their menstrual cycles, leading to confusion and concern. Periods may be heavier, longer or more painful than usual. This is because each uterus has its own lining that sheds during menstruation. The increased volume of menstrual blood can lead to more intense cramps and discomfort. Women might need to use more menstrual products and may find themselves feeling fatigued or anemic due to the heavier bleeding. This is because each uterus has its own lining that sheds during menstruation, painful intercourse. The presence of two cervixes or a vaginal septum, a wall of tissue dividing the vagina, can make sexual activity uncomfortable or even painful. This can affect a woman's intimate relationships and overall quality of life. It's important for women experiencing these symptoms to communicate openly with their partners and seek medical advice. Some women experience pain during sex due to the presence of two cervixes or a vaginal septum, a wall of tissue dividing the vagina. Difficulty conceiving. While many women with uterus didelphis conceive without issues, the condition can sometimes lead to infertility or pregnancy complications. The presence of two uteruses can complicate the implantation of an embryo or the growth of a fetus, leading to higher risks of miscarriage or preterm birth. While many women with uterus didelphis conceive without issues, the condition can sometimes lead to infertility or pregnancy complications, kidney problems. In some cases, uterus didelphis can be associated with kidney abnormalities. This is because the structures that form the reproductive system and the urinary system develop closely together in the womb. Abnormalities in one system can often indicate issues in the other. In some cases, uterus didelphis can be associated with kidney abnormalities. Regular checkups and imaging tests can help detect these issues early, allowing for timely intervention and management. Women with uterus didelphis should be aware of the potential for kidney problems and discuss any concerns with their healthcare providers. This is because the structures that form the reproductive system and the urinary system develop closely together in the womb. It's essential to remember that not every woman with uterus didelphis will experience these symptoms. Many lead healthy normal lives without any complications. However, being informed about the condition and its potential impacts can help women make better health decisions and seek appropriate care when needed. It's essential to remember that not every woman with uterus didelphis will experience these symptoms. If you are concerned about any changes in your menstrual cycle, pain during intercourse or difficulty conceiving, it's crucial to consult your doctor. Early diagnosis and intervention can significantly improve outcomes and help manage any complications that may arise. If you are concerned about any changes in your menstrual cycle, pain during intercourse or difficulty conceiving, it's crucial to consult your doctor. Regular medical checkups and open communication with healthcare providers are key to maintaining reproductive health and addressing any issues promptly. Section 4. Seeing Double Diagnosing Uterus Didelphis Diagnosing uterus didelphis usually involves a combination of a pelvic exam and imaging tests. During a pelvic exam, your doctor will feel your reproductive organs for any abnormalities. They may notice two cervixes or a vaginal septum which could indicate uterus didelphis. An ultrasound uses sound waves to create pictures of your internal organs. It can help visualize the uterus and identify any structural abnormalities. Magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, uses powerful magnets and radio waves to create detailed images of your organs and tissues. It can provide a clearer picture of the uterus and surrounding structures, confirming the diagnosis of uterus didelphis. Early diagnosis is essential. It allows for proper management of the condition and addresses any potential complications. Section 5. Navigating treatment options. 
Not everyone with uterus didelphis requires treatment. In fact, many individuals with this condition live normal, healthy lives without ever needing medical intervention. If you are asymptomatic and not experiencing any complications, your doctor may recommend a watch and wait approach. This means that instead of undergoing immediate treatment, you will be closely monitored over time to ensure that no new symptoms or complications arise. This involves regular checkups to monitor your condition. These checkups are crucial as they help in early detection of any potential issues, allowing for timely intervention if necessary. However, treatment becomes necessary if you experience symptoms like severe menstrual cramps, pain during intercourse or recurrent miscarriages. These symptoms can significantly impact your quality of life and may require medical intervention to manage effectively. The type of treatment depends on the severity of your symptoms and your individual circumstances. Your doctor will consider various factors, including your overall health, the specific nature of your symptoms and your personal preferences when recommending a treatment plan. Pain management can involve over-the-counter pain relievers. These medications can help alleviate mild to moderate pain and are often the first line of treatment for managing discomfort. Or prescription medications to help manage painful periods or discomfort during sex. Prescription medications may be necessary if over-the-counter options are not effective in providing relief. Hormonal therapy, such as birth control pills, can also be an effective treatment option. These medications work by regulating your menstrual cycle, which can help reduce symptoms like heavy bleeding and severe cramps, or other hormonal medications can regulate your menstrual cycle and reduce heavy bleeding. Hormonal therapy can be tailored to your specific needs, providing a personalized approach to managing your symptoms. In some cases, surgery may be recommended to remove a vaginal septum, reconstruct the uterus, or address other complications. Surgical intervention is typically considered when other treatment options have not been effective, or when there are structural abnormalities that need to be corrected. It's crucial to have a thorough discussion with your doctor to determine the best course of action based on your specific situation. Your doctor can provide detailed information about the potential benefits and risks of each treatment option helping you make an informed decision about your care.